This is Daniel. God is my judge. You're watching. Is your six covered? Good. Whoa. <laughs> Thumbs up! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Easy Six Cover. Today we are reviewing the Vortex HD Gen 2 four and a half by 27. So stand by. All right, some of the things that we're going to talk about today is the reasons why I purchased and picked up. You may have seen on my latest video that uh i kind of went through this whole buy once cry once uh debacle of buying some improper scopes for what i was trying to accomplish and that being a thousand yards plus and hopefully a mile with that one so if you haven't seen that video take a look at it because it may save you a lot of money and time headache and ammunition uh, so now we're looking at this we're looking at the razor hd hd and uh quite a scope guys it's it's an expensive scope but when you're trying to reach out to long distances and I've learned this the hard way um, you need the right equipment I mean if you're trying to do that the right equipment can be at least for me at this time is the vortex HD gen 2 some of the things that I really like about this scope is it is beefy it is heavy unfortunately but when you want something that's gonna gonna take the abuse you know, you know, you got it. Um, right off the get go, I want to tell you that Vortex does have a lifetime warranty on these items. So that is a plus. If I go out, all of a sudden my rifle gets ran over, the scope breaks. I can send it back to Vortex and have them replace it or repair it. And I'm back in action. So that to me is a huge thing. When you're going to spend the money on something like this, you want to know that it has a warranty that you can send it in and get it replaced and sent back. So it is nice. You'll notice that the turrets are a lot larger than compared to a lot of the uh, smaller, cheaper kind of scopes. And I really like that they're, they're larger. You feel like as you're clicking them, you can feel each um, point one MRAD as you're going. So if you're trying to dial in a certain number, you can really feel that. So if you're working in some dark or darker dusk kind of applications where you can't see the numbers as well, you can you can really feel those as you're moving back and forth. Um, the parallax is really nice because it goes from 32 yards, I believe. Is it 30? Uh, yeah, 32 yards up to infinity, so you can really get a nice crystal clear uh, view. Uh, changing this from four and a half to 27 is uh, it's nice and tight per se so you're not it's not sloppy at all the glass is really really clear it's made in Japan the scopes are I should say very top top quality uh, one of the competitors that these guys have been battling back and forth against especially with your precision long-range shooters that are competing utilizing this stuff is night force it's right there with it night force is a little more expensive i believe it to be a hair lighter um but back and forth when these guys are battling back and forth you know that between night force and the vortex hd series the gen 2s you're talking apples to apples for the most part um but again like i said the price comparison is this is a little bit cheaper than the night force Love Night Force as well. Been able to use those with the X-Ring channel. If you're not familiar with his channel. But the um, I'm going to take the camera off. I'll bring it over here up close and kind of show you guys what we have. Marty. All right. So first things we'll start off with was we have a 56 millimeter objective lens. The tube is a 34 millimeter. Both of these are on 20 MOA rise scope mounts. But back to the scope so let me zoom in here first thing you'll see is you're gonna see the turret body area and you're gonna see that these click down to lock and you pull them up so that you can dial them in and then again you can press those down to lock them same goes for the windage 
the parallax, like I said, is 32 yards to infinity. This portion here is the illuminated reticle. And one of the really cool things that I like about this, and let me move the camera around a little bit so you guys can see, and I'll try to zoom in, is you're gonna see a dot in between each number, and that is an off position. So instead of having to dial that thing all the way back to zero, if you prefer to shoot at say eight, it does go all the way to 11. You can see there. But if you like or prefer say eight, and you wanna, you just click it and turn it off right next to it so that the next time you go to use it, you just click it to on. Here's the mark indicator for having the right number. Also as well, the mark indicator for your parallax is that line right there. And again, the, the, uh, whoops, the line is right here. Make sure I'm up. All right, and you can see it does have a zero stop right there. With this rifle, we set it up to go 0.5 MRADs, and that's the stop. So at night, if you didn't know where it was, you could go all the way to there and know that if you go back five, you'll go to zero. That way you have a little more options when you're shooting. Now back to here. You can see, I guess I'll stay here. This is the, uh, your zero stop is right there. There's the line indication. And you can do your ch change your windage from right to left, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. So I'll go ahead and put that back, lock it in. You can see that you can hear that. So you, it's very, uh, as they say, tactile. But it's um, you can hear each click. You can see right here it is 0.1 MRADs. And that was the reason why I wanted to continue on with the other scope. Uh, let me back up for a sec. Oops, maybe not. This one is identical to it over here. And this is to basically change my learning curve, not having to deal with two different style reticles, trying to figure out... Uh, you know, jumping from an MOA type of scope over to a mill. So I wanted to keep everything the same, which is going to help my learning curve. Uh, one difference you'll see on this one compared to the other one is this does have a bubble level as of right now. And you can see down here that you got uh, your zero, depending on how your abilities with your eyes are, what age you are, and that kind of stuff, you can change it a little bit to get a clear, uh, crisp view. So that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen, on the Vortex HD Gen 2 45 by 27 scope. This thing is a, a beefy beast, if I will say myself. I don't know the exact weight of it. Here's kind of a quick view of what the uh, scope would look like illuminated. So you can kind of see how that's set up. Some call it or the EBR2C. So that's it. Here is the part number if you're interested in purchasing something like this. So these have been around for a little while now. They are tried, true, and tested by some of your top shooters. So there you go. Hope you enjoy the video. If you are not a subscriber and want to be a subscriber slash family member, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.